Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Wolf Pup 18TO. This is a great lightweight little couples model, and it has some very unique things as well that make it a very versatile RV. But let's actually start off right over here. One of the things I do want to show you is the more ride steps. We'll see this when we go outside as well, but it's not very often you get to look at the way it stores inside. And so this essentially is how it works just like this. Uh, rather than having it fold up underneath the RV, when the door is open, it actually comes up, it locks into place right here, and then you shut the door behind it. And it's actually a pretty convenient uh, way to store the steps, makes the outside look cleaner as well. And when we go outside, you will see that those are extremely sturdy steps. Definitely a great bump up over your standard steps you see on most RVs. So we move into the kitchen here, you'll notice good prep space right here, especially again in a smaller floor plan. And then you have your standard single bowl sink with the double burner. I do like the fact that your double burner has the horizontal orientation rather than the vertical, just because it makes it a little easier to cook in my personal opinion. Right behind that is your electrical outlet. And then right up top, you will notice here you have the tank monitoring panel, water heater and pump are located on there as well. Next door to that, you will see your window there. And right up above, you also have your LED light in case you, uh, you know, need to some extra light at night in case you're cooking. Take a look underneath here. You see you do have good storage underneath the sink. And then over here to the side is your direct vent furnace, which does a great job of heating up this little coach. Taking a look up above, we actually start right over here. This is the multimedia center. This unit does control the speakers both inside as well as the ones outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. Right next door to that, you see some storage here. Never mind all the uh, stuff that's in here. This is just some of the cool stuff that comes with it. That's free. Lucky you. But either way, that is good extra pantry storage right up there. Next door to that is your microwave, and underneath is your uh, vent, or your hood rather, with both a light and a fan there. And then coming over to the side is a Norcold fridge freezer combo. This unit does run off both propane and electric, also has automatic switchover. And as you will notice, there is plenty of storage there. The thermostat is right over here to the side. This is for the heat. There is a roof mounted AC, but the controls for that are on the AC itself. And then right back in the corner here is your bathroom. You see the foot flush lever toilet right there. And you also have the tub shower over to the side. LED light up top with the vent fan there too. And then right here in the back, folks, this is where your TV will be mounted. So you'll mount that there. Appropriate connections for that are right up above. Now, if we take a look over across the way, this is where, you know, we really start getting into an interesting floor plan. This whole thing is basically a big super slide which is something you just generally don't see in a smaller RV like this. It certainly opens the space up. You have the dinette right here where you can easily sit four people. You can play a game together, have a meal together. Plus this drops down into a bed. Now granted, your standard dinettes like this don't make huge beds, but it is great if you have children that are staying or if you need a place to put a pack and play, you can put that up here as well. You have big windows going the whole length of the slide there. LED lights there as well, so that way, you know, the LED lights provide the light at night, and then the windows provide the light during the day. Then right here is your jackknife sofa. So when this is up, you'll see standard jackknife. It does have the armrests that are easily removable. This just lifts up and drops down into a bed. Some additional storage here underneath, not a ton, but at least you get a little bit. It's better than nothing. And as you previously saw, when this drops down, this center console here has two cup holders. It also has a light. You can light it up. just gives it a fancy look. Plus, you have USB ports right there as well, so you can charge your electronic devices, which is pretty darn cool. But where this really uh, comes unique is right behind it. So you'll see you have the teddy bear cushion here for a bed. What they have done is right up above, you have this pull-out bed. Essentially, you pull it up like so. It's on some rollers, folds right down just like that. And then this goes right up top like that. So that way it creates basically another bunk here in your living space. So you have this bunk here, the dinette drops down, plus this jackknife sofa drops down into a bed. So you have three extra beds in a very small floor plan. Again, as I mentioned, that is pretty unique. Right up front here, of course, is the master bed. So if it's only going to be one of you, this is obviously where you would sleep. You have electrical outlet and dual USB ports right up front with a shelf there. So that way you can put your cell phone down and charge it at night. You also have LED light up top, reading light at night, storage going across the top too. 
The other thing you will notice is this right here. You have a handle on there. It is strut supported. You can see you have access to your pass-through storage underneath. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Wolf Pup 18TO. Right up front there, you have your 20-pound propane tank, and right behind that, you will see rails for your battery. Coming up the front here is black diamond plating, which helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And directly above that, you see the smooth aluminum panel here on the front. Cool thing about this, folks, one, it just looks really nice. Two, it's a lot easier to clean. This is where most of your bugs and everything will land as you're traveling down the road. And the smooth aluminum front is easier to clean than the ribbed like the side here. Also, if you take a look at the side, you will see that this one, it does have solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. It is great for boondocking. Open up that front storage compartment, and as I mentioned, this will give you access both here. You also had access from underneath the bed, as you had previously saw. Power awning on here, folks. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. You also see the LED light underneath there, so that way you have light at night. And then these are the more ride step above steps when they are extended rather than being folded up. Folks, these are awesome steps. You know, they're again, I talked about them being sturdy. Take a look. I mean, you can, you can jump up and down here, folks. These steps are amazing. They feel a lot more confident when entering and exiting the RV, especially with the foldable grab handle right here. You don't feel like you're on a springboard. Plus, you also see you have grip tape on there, so that way if it is wet or it's raining, whatever it may be, you can easily uh, still have traction when entering or exiting the RV. The outside speakers here light up, which give a nice cool effect, plus they're speakers. So if you want to listen to music, as I previously mentioned, those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. That way you can be out here, connect it via Bluetooth, and still be able to listen to music. Right here is a TV mount, so if you want an outside TV, pop it in right there. And right over here is your electrical outlet, so you can plug the TV in. Or if you need to plug anything else in, that's the place to do it out here. Plus, you also see your cable and satellite outlets right there, again, for that outside TV. Right on the back here, you will see the cargo rack. This is great to have. I love when manufacturers put these on. To drop it down, you simply pull the pins out on both sides here, and you can put, you know, totes on there, wood, coolers, anything else you want. 200-pound weight capacity on there, which is pretty darn good. You'll also see mounted to that is your spare tire. Folks, hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, you know it's riding right back here. Plus, it should be in pretty good shape because it has the cover here, and it's pretty stylish with the wolf head on there as well. Right here on the slide out, you will see this door. When you open this up, it does give you some access to the back of the sofa there. Also, you have a little bit of storage in there too. When you take a look up in front of the slide, you'll see your 30 amp detachable power cord and both your city water inlet as well as your fresh tank fill. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Wolf Pup 18TO. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.